So it was really windy out at True North, so I am in the Cowboy Performance Center that they have here at True, and it's really awesome. Kind of snuck in, so um, I just want to say thanks for letting me use it. <laughs> uh, but it's actually, this place is really cool, and uh, we'll kind of just give you a little look around too. I am not sponsored by Callaway in any way, but I do play their Callaway 3 wood, so shout out to Callaway for that one. Um, but so today I want to do something a little bit different than what I've done before. I know you guys have been asking for more golf videos, and so here it is. I'm going to give you the best tips I've ever received um, from my instructors from over the years. So I hope you guys enjoy this, and we're just going to get right into it. So we're going to start with the full swing when it comes to the best tips I've ever received. And this one is very simple, but it is by far the most helpful, and I tell everyone this as well. Scott Watkins um, gave me this one. He was my third instructor that I've ever had. I worked with him for a really long time. Uh, he's a Mac O'Grady guy, and um, I have a couple of his, his tips in here. So this is the first one. The first one is, when you swing through, you want the shaft to match up. I'm not wearing a hat, but on the back line of your hat. So when you swing through, you want it to touch it there and you hold it there. Um, this, tip is, this tip is really great because sometimes people forget to hold their follow through and they don't even think about it. They're so worried about thinking of things and like their setup and right here and this position and that position. And the most important thing is actually to swing through and to hold your follow through. And so by thinking of this through your swing, it's a great tip for you to commit to your shot and swing all the way through it because you're thinking of the very last thing. And so you stay really committed to it. So I'll show you. Tip number two from Scott Watkins was how do you use your legs in the swing? I, as you know, if you look at my swing, I have a very active lower body and um, I use my legs a lot to generate power. So this is a drill that Scott taught me that I do pretty much all the time still and it is really kind of um, the main reason why my legs work the way they do and the amount of power that I have. So when you're in your setup and you're coming down, this is a half swing drill, you squat and you turn through. But the drill is to literally just squat until your arm is in line with your kneecap and then you turn through. So these are half swing shots and you really want to focus in on that squat motion. So as you can see my legs, they really squatted down and you almost want to exaggerate this one and it's almost like you're coming here and you're literally squatting and you're not going to do this as exaggerated in your swing but you're really going to do it in this drill to get that movement. If you're still struggling with this drill or you don't have that squat motion, you can put a ball in between your legs and when you squat the ball is going to drop and you turn through. You don't want to squat too soon or too late um, so that's why you do this half drill. This is a tip that I got from Tyler Hall who is now my current coach and one thing that I always work with him is connection. This is a great drill that I do every single time um, when I'm warming up just to get everything um, connected right away. So what you do is you stand on your front leg and it's going to be uh, your left leg. Ball is just kind of off your front foot and you can either have this like touching or a little bit out depending on your balance but it's almost like you're not resting any weight back. You're literally just like barely touching all the weights on your front foot and then you turn back and you turn through and basically you're doing this so you stay obviously connected because if you're disconnected you're going to fall off balance and it's also great to kind of stay on that front foot too. When I'm doing this drill I feel like my body is turning and there's no excess movement to it. Obviously there can't be because you will fall off balance. And also do a little test before that you're not putting any weight so I kind of just like lift it up once or twice and then barely set it down. And then after you do that, when you go then into your swing, kind of trying to see, keep that same motion of turning back and through and almost feeling like you're on your front leg. 
what I really like about this drill is that like you can feel it you can feel how your your body is moving together and it's like if you do um, kind of swing off balance or if your legs go too soon you're gonna fall and it's like you can tell right away so this is a Tyler Hall drill that we do to work on my takeaway and it's really simple and easy and it's great to actually see what you're doing so um, you need two sticks you can get these pretty much anywhere um, get them at Home Depot they have them at golf specific places as well but um, I would say just go to Home Depot they're really inexpensive so you put one stick down on your toe line and then you grab another stick and you're gonna put it next to your grip and then hold on to it and then you're going to have it resting on uh, your left side and then when you do when you do these takeaways you can really see like what it's doing if you're out it's too far if you're in this way and so you want to have it pretty much just kind of ride up along that the, um, the, the stick on the ground If I come too far outside, it's going to rub all the way along my legs and that's not good. And then if I go too far inside, the, you can see that this is not lined up anywhere near where this bottom stick is. So it's a really great drill to work on your takeaway and it's easy because you can see it. A lot of things are really hard in your swing because you can't see it and it feels very different than how it actually looks. And so this drill really gets you used to seeing like what happens when your club is too far outside or inside and where it needs to be on the plane. So I do this one a lot and it really helps me if I'm just struggling with feeling it and seeing how it actually looks. I hope you enjoyed the video today of the best tips and drills that I've received. I will do more of these if you guys really like it. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel.